Good morning children. Welcome to today's CVS class. Today we are going to start our 13th chapter A Reverse Tale. Before starting our class, let us quickly revise your previous knowledge about water. All of us know that water is very important for us. We use water for various purposes like drinking, bathing, washing hands, washing clothes, watering plants and irrigational purposes. And there are various sources of water. Some sources are natural but some sources are man-made. Let's check what are the natural sources of water. Here you can see different natural sources. These all are natural sources of water. First one, the main source, rain, waterfall, river, ocean, lake, streams. These are the some natural sources of water. Then next one, man-made sources of water. Some sources of water are made by the man and they are called man-made sources of water. Which are the man-made sources? Look here. Well, which is this? Tube well, taps, dams, ponds. These are the some man-made sources of water. Now, look at this picture. What can you see in here? Yes, you can see a river is flowing. And do you know where do rivers originate? Rivers begin from mountains or hills where rainwater or melting snow collects and forms st tiny streams. So, where do rivers originate? Rivers begin from or originate from mountains or hills. You can see in this picture. Some small streams are flowing to this hill. This is the starting stage of a river. Rivers begin from mountains or hills where rainwater or snow collects and forms into tiny streams. Rivers are very important. People use river water for various purposes such as drinking, washing clothes and they catch fish from the river water and they use the river water to washing their animals. And they also irrigate their land by using this river water. And do you know children? Some rivers have many fishes, but some have only few. Why? Do you know why? Some rivers have only few fishes because the water in the river is polluted. Look at the picture. Here we can see a river is starting from a mountain. And in the starting stage, beginning stage, River water is very fresh and pure. But the river water does not remain clean throughout its journey. The color of river water will change in different places. Look at the pictures. The color of the river water is entirely different in every picture. Isn't it? But in the previous picture, we saw very pure and fresh river water. Why the color of river water is so different from the previous picture? Because some human activities make the river water dirty. Let's check what are the reasons for river water become polluted. Before that, what is water pollution? Water pollution is the Contamination of water bodies due to the human activities. And let's check the causes of water pollution. 
first reason garbage disposal in river water you can see in this picture the garbage is disposed on the river and this will make the river dirty and the river water will become polluted next one next one industrial waste are dumped into the river water waste from various factories and industries dumped into the river and this will make the water dirty and polluted next point sewage water disposal in the river water in some areas sewage water is also disposed in the river water so this will also make the water polluted next point pesticides used in the fields pesticides means some chemicals used in the field to kill the small insects and weeds and this pesticides flow into the river water with the rain and this also causes water pollution these are the some important causes of water pollution so today we discussed natural sources of water man made sources of water where do rivers originate water pollution and causes of water pollution i hope all of you understood that's all thank you